Being a bad girl that's always being kicked out of every single school is not easy, especially when you're trying to turn a new leaf. And now this mean girl is trying to tell me some crazy secret about a boy I have a crush on. Let's see what she has to tell us. So what is it? What is this thing I need to know about Ian? Uh, well, you see, Ian's mom is a murderer. Wait. What? Yeah, she murdered Ian's dad. It was all over in the news. Okay, Claudia, I think you're taking things too far. Stop lying. Why would I lie? Alex, it's time to come inside. It's so lovely of you to stop by, Claudia. Get lost. Alex! What do you want? Did Claudia mention anything about how much her parents loved meeting me? Can you tell I'm not listening to you right now? I'm not in the mood. You need to learn better manners. You know, I'm sure Claudia would be a good influence on you. I overheard how concerned she was outside. She's so sweet to warn you about Ian and his mom. I can't say I'm surprised that Ian's mom is dangerous. She's always had those crazy eyes. Explains why Ian's the way he is. And what way is that? He's a failure without a future ahead of him. Ian's nothing but a no-class scum and a complete disgrace to our community. What does your gossiping say about you, Nia? What about your class? I've never heard Ian talk badly about anyone. You, on the other hand. That doesn't mean anything. It means that you're worse than any of the rumors about Ian's family. Maybe you should think next time you open your mouth to gossip and stop spreading things around. Fine. Uh oh. Ooh, later that night, I'm sitting like a princess on a bench. I snuck out as soon as my dad and Nia had gone to bed. I was secretly hoping Ian would be there. I needed to ask him about the rumors. Could they really be true? I'm sure I'm missing some facts. I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt, especially with the rumors surrounding me. I have his number. I could message him to come down and meet me. Whoa, what's on the floor there? Do you see that? Mm-hmm, little can. Is that a can? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Should I be like, meet me outside now? <laughs> yeah, yell at him. Get him out here. This is important. He's used to my feistiness. Meet me outside now. But I'm not dressed. <laughs> Even better. So? Hey, I have rights, you know. Fine, I'll be right there. That's right. That's how we should be. Such a cutie. What's happening, Alex? Is everything okay? You came. Oh. Of course I came. What are you talking about? I got your text. Aw, you're so sweet. Is something wrong? I know there's more to the story with Ian's mom than what Claudia says, and I need to know. I shouldn't listen to gossip and instead give Ian a chance to defend himself. I should tell Ian what's bothering me and hear his side of the story. Obviously, I'm going to give my boy a chance. Yeah, no, I don't know. I just have this thing I have to ask you about. What's on your mind? It's just Claudia. I shouldn't even listen to anything she says, but somehow she's gotten into my mind. Can't help you there. <laughs> you're doomed. Ian, you're not helping yourself here. <laughs> what? You should know by now you can't trust anything she says. Okay, I was hoping you'd say that. I know, I know. Usually it's easy to ignore her. But this time she told me rumors about somebody I care about. And who is this person you care so much about? <laughs> oh, is this jealousy I hear? Well, technically about his mother. Uh, oh, I, I see. I'm sorry, this was a bad idea. I shouldn't have brought you out here. No, I'm glad you called me down here. It's always nice seeing you. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you're seeing a positive side to this. Rumors shouldn't be trusted, right? Gossip isn't the full truth, so try not to believe everything you hear, Alex. Especially if it's from Claudia. Trust me. You're right. What was I thinking? Claudia's the worst. Like, absolutely the worst. Who cares if people believe her? Yeah. We should get back to bed before one of our parents notices. I see you are a good boy. Exactly. Listen, sleep well and try not to dream too much of me. <laughs> oh, you. That shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> Inside joke. <laughs> Oh, the next day. I hardly slept at all last night. Now that everyone has heard rumors about me, can I really face them? I'm just so sick of dealing with these ruthless bullies. And with these rumors about Ian going around, it's just too much. We're like the perfect couple. I wish my mom was still around. I could really use her advice. Oh, Alex. I know you had a hard time at school the other day and you're probably not looking forward to going back. So, I left you something on the bathroom counter to help with today. Ooh, is that chocolate? It belonged to your mother. Oh, he's so sweet now after our ice cream date. She'd want you to have it. Thanks, Papa. Mom's necklace is beautiful. Thanks, Dad. I love it. Oh, anything for you, honey. You're so sweet. I hope you get a job soon. I know just the outfit to pair with it. Ooh, ooh, I like. He's gonna love this. This outfit says I'm classy and suave. Is that how you say suave? Mm -hmm. Suave. <laughs> In this outfit, I'll rise above the rumor mill. I don't know why I dress like for prom every time I go to school. I already feel more confident. Wow, honey, you look so beautiful. That necklace is perfect on you. You look just like your mother. She'd be so proud of you. 
Thanks. Having a part of her with me makes me feel a lot better. I wish you've done this when I was like 14, you know? Well, beggars can't be choosers. Oh, look at me strutting my thing. Oh my God, so cute. Wow, Alex, you look great. Aw, oh, thanks. We're still trying to be a good girl. Have a fabulous day. Yeah, see you around, cutie pie with the big booty pie. <laughs> okay, bye, Ty. Guess I'm in the library. Do my thing, do some research. On a Windows 1995. <laughs> Yeah, that's my school. Is this access to some sort of database? It looks like there's some background information about people on here. Uh-oh, we know where this is going. I didn't know the school library had access to old records like this. Oh my god, I can search for mom's records on here. Dad told me the name of her rehab facility yesterday. And Ian's stuff, right? Right, Alex? Right? According to this information, she had a severe drug addiction and sought help from them many, many times. The last record of her is from a drug overdose. Dad was telling the truth. This is what mom was going through hmm why would he lie it's phoenix oh my god i have to hide this what's that shortcut for closing all the windows alt f4 phoenix hey come over here what's up i found some information about my mom there's just so much going on in my life right now fee are you sure you trust fee enough to do this to tell her this honestly i mean fee like did try to set me up with ian i guess I know, I know, you're right. I shouldn't trust people. I should only trust my inner voice, you. You've been talking to Fee a lot and people keep finding out about your past. I see a connection here. Oh my God, I didn't even think about that. God, I thought you were a bad girl. <laughs> no, I'm a naive bad girl. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think people are still talking about what happened yesterday? Don't worry about what others think. It sounds like you have enough going on with your family. But in that outfit, you put the bullies to shame. The only thing people will be talking about today is your fab style. Why don't you come to lunch with me and we can talk there? You're right, I'm hungry. I think better on a full stomach. Sugar donuts for lunch again? Girl, you need a better diet. How do you not gain any weight? <laughs> Lucky. Lucky? Cardio. I don't think running away from your problems counts as cardio. Girl, I don't have problems. I'm actually in a running club. You never cease to surprise me. I'm an open book. If you want to know anything about me, all you have to do is ask. Hmm, what's your biggest secret? You know all of mine, so I think it's fair you tell me yours, right, inner voice? Mm-hmm, yeah, get some collateral. I still talk to my chocolate stuffed animals. That's not a secret. That is not a secret. Did she really just admit that and not a real secret? I don't keep secrets, which is very different from you. Oh, shade. Yeah, but I have my reasons to be private. I've been burned more than once. And you better not burn me. I want you to know that you can open up to me about anything. We're friends. You can trust me. Phoenix is right. She's shown me she's trustworthy. She told me about her stuffed animal speeches. And it's been so lonely not having anyone to share stuff with. I think it's time for me to start opening up. Um, Girl. Okay, how about we just ask about Ian's rumor, right? Yeah. Claudia told me about the rumors. So you heard them then? You knew? Why didn't you tell me? The whole town knows. I don't spread gossip about friends. So it's all true. If it is, would you stop liking Ian? Ian? Would I stop liking you? Ian? Ian, you better not. <laughs> No, Ian's still Ian. Then it doesn't matter if it's true. It just makes me so mad that people like Claudia gossip about it. As long as Ian has you, I think it'll be okay. I'm sure he'll open up to you about it when he's ready. Thanks, Fee. I feel better about it now. That's what I'm here for. Ring, ring. Guess lunch is over. I'll walk with you to class. Thanks. I'm Professor Cooper, and today we have an exhilarating experiment to expand your minds. We are going to be learning the smoking points of oil. Oh, wow. Yeah, so get into pairs. Alex, you'll be with Claudia. Oh, I'm partnering with the sh sh she devil. This will be so fun, Alex. I'll make you do all the work. Um, no. Unless there's someone else that you'd like to be partnered with. Oh my God, finally. Hey, we should partner up. Oh, thanks. I definitely wouldn't mind being partners with Ian. He's so sweet saving me from the she devil. <laughs> Phoenix just waving in the background. <laughs> Phoenix is like, yo, I'm here too. Our partnering with Phoenix would be tons of fun too. So Alex, who will it be? Choose wisely. Your life depends on this. Obviously Claudia. And partnering with Claudia would be a nightmare. There's no way I'm partnering with Claudia. I want to partner with my boy Ian. Hey. You're my partner. You're kind of bossy today. I like it. I knew you liked it. Before we begin this experiment, I should warn you I'm a very hands-on kind of partner. Ooh, is that a warning? Just in the lab or in the bedroom too? Whoa, well, why don't you come over tonight and find out, huh? Okay, okay, so we're moving fast. Wouldn't you just love that? Yes, 
Yes, I would. Look at us joking back and forth. The science lab is not a place for laughter. It's about oil and oxygen and bonds and molecules. Sorry, Professor Cooper. It's a place for blood, sweat, and tears only. <laughs> what a weirdo. Come on, let's get the oil heated. Things are already heating up over here. <laughs> oh, that was such a lame joke. Ian, oh my God, stop. It wasn't a joke. Oh, okay. Now that's different. <laughs> Do you smell that? I think that was you, Ian. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. It's coming from over there. Oh, what is she doing? <gasps> fire! Ah! Now, if that isn't a cliffhanger, I hope nobody dies in that fire. <laughs> maybe just Claudia, and then we're good. Oh, yeah, maybe she can burn her hair. And they can't blame this on me, right? Mm -mm. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this chapter. Look forward to the next one. Thank you, my lovely, dearest Gloom, for helping me out again. Love you. I love you, too. Can't wait for you to be my boyfriend again and again and again. Always. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!